Days after a failed coup attempt against the government of Captain Ibrahim Traore, the president has massively increased the salaries of his military. Traore, president of Burkina Faso, took measures to improve the living conditions of volunteers for the defense of the fatherland, VDP. Alongside the Defense and Security Forces, FDS, these individuals give their lives on a daily basis to protect the nation from terrorist attacks. For VDPs, the disability premium will rise from 1,800,000 to 3 million FCFA. They will receive a rise in pay of 80,000 FCFA per month from their current 62 scene. The death benefit will increase from 1 million to 3 million FCFA. And burial costs increase from 100,000 to 250,000 FCFA. In addition to these measures, VDPs will keep their food bonus of 1,500 FCFA per day and medical care costs of 2,000 FCFA per month. Not forgetting, the president of the transition days ago handed over a large batch of military equipment to the Ministry of Defense and Veterans Affairs. This equipment, acquired thanks to the various contributions of Burkina Bay citizens, is made up of rolling equipment, combat weapons and ammunition. Its acquisition is part of the implementation of the Strategic Equipment Plan for the National Armed Forces. You know when I said here that if you go to the Ibrahim Traore circle right now, there are people protecting the revolution in Burkina Faso and no one is paying them. They volunteer their services because they understand the choice that needs to be made between homeland and death. Some of us here took it lightly. Story for another day. So handing over the keys to the rolling stock to the Minister of Defense and Veterans Affairs, the head of state urged him to start the long-awaited development of the war. If you are missing something, come back to me and I will know how to go back to the people. We are waiting for results. Good luck and make good use of it, said Captain Ibrahim Traor. Brigadier General Kasum Kulibali recalled that the acquisition of this batch of equipment is the first in a series of five planned as part of the strategic equipment plan announced by the head of state, Captain Ibrahim Traor, in his message to the nation on December 31, 2023. The remaining four batches are expected in the coming months. Speaking of the coup attempt which happened in Burkina Faso, here is the official statement from Captain Ibrahim Traore. The government informs the Burkinabe people that since January 13, 2023, the security services have been working to dismantle a network destabilizing Burkina Faso. This network, which involves both serving and disbanded soldiers, civilians and activists among others, planned to destabilize the institutions of Burkina Faso and put a brutal stop to the refoundation process for dignity, integrity, freedom and sovereignty of our country. The date of January 14, 2024, was projected by the leaders of this disastrous project for taking action with a view to executing their diabolical plan, which would inevitably have caused Burkina Faso to enter history backwards. The government reassures the Burkinabe people that the vigilance of the intelligence services and the promptness of the patriotic defense and security forces made it possible to interrupt the implementation of this umpteenth attempt at destabilization, preventing our country from once again seeing its hope of freedom and independence murdered on the altar of selfish interests. Without regard, and without compassion for the populations scarred by nearly a decade of massacres, rape, violence, and terrorist assassinations, the authors of this evil project intended to restore in Burkina Faso, an ancient order that the collective conscience of the Burkinabe of yesterday and today reproves. To carry out their dirty work, Individuals were contacted in different military barracks throughout the country in order to organize a sort of mutiny. Civil society organizations committed to their cause were called upon to take over. For this, funding for them was being released and transferred from outside. 
Attacks against the headquarters of the Citizens' Watch were planned with a view to demobilizing popular support for the transition. Ultimately, it was a question of creating disturbances favorable to the intervention of a commando from outside, capable of attempting the lives of several transition authorities and sowing chaos. This was the apocalyptic scenario imagined and planned for execution against our valiant people. All of these elements are corroborated by coherent indices. At the current stage of the investigations, elements collected and others in progress formally establish the involvement of several soldiers and civilians. Arrests were therefore made, interviews conducted, and technical analyses are underway. Cross-checking is also carried out to better identify possible other implications. The links established so far between the different actors refer to a small group of people who consider that they must play a greater role in public and political decision-making, and therefore plot against our people and the institutions of our country. The information collected sufficiently shows the desire for subversion and destabilization. Legal avenues will be used to enlighten national and international opinion on all of these maneuvers. The statement ended. According to the information I had, the conspirators were connected with the entourage of the former pro-French president, Colonel Damiba, and had several options for eliminating the current head of state, which was planned to be carried out on January 13th, after which a detachment of mercenaries was to enter the country from Togolese territory to support the coup. The Butkanese intelligence services that intercepted the negotiations were able to work effectively and neutralize most of the conspirators, some of whom were lured into a trap. Interrogations of the detainees are currently underway. You see, this is why the head of state accuses France of being at the origin of terrorism. The head of state of Niger, General de Abdurrahman Etiani, accused France of being behind terrorism in his country during a press briefing. General Tiani declared that the fire of terrorism draws its essence from the support that France provides, he said. And by the way, Burkina Faso and Mali remain suspended by the African Union for daring to stand up against Western imperialism. Most African political heads have distanced themselves from Mali and Burkina Faso yet they are claiming high moral ground in a fight between Jews and Arabs. Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger are charting a new path for African self-determination against all odds. These are the true heroes of our struggle against exploitation and oppression. How I wish more Africans understood the complex geopolitical issues these two brothers Asimi Goite and Captain Ibrahim Traore are dealing with. But most importantly, I hope Africans will learn about the importance of standing behind and in support of your own when the path is clearly spelt out and everyone understands what is at stake. If Africa Union should change its name, it must be called A54. Mm. Why must it always be about Africa joining and Africa not uniting? We, we want to join G20. Why? What is it that G20 can do which you can do? What is it that World Bank is doing which you can do? What is it that uh, BRICS is doing which you can do? So the real problem is that BRICS is taking away the most powerful African countries and giving them legitimacy in their organizations. Mm. By the time Africa wants to unite, it will have only the minority poor, whose voice will be inaudible to the muscle of BRICS, Euro dollar, and American dollar. But if Africa right now under OAU, or under AU, or under COMESA, or under SADIC, or under Africa Union, I don't care. Stop having organizations that speak politics. We need an AU bank, Africa Union Bank. We need an AU stock exchange. We need an AU passport. We need an AU academic curriculum. We need an AU military organization that can quieten wars on the continent. We need an AU health system that can deal with pandemics. 
We need an AU entertainment center that does movies and our own sports. We need an AU that is sensitive to the spirituality of the African people. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Ibrahim Traore increasing the salaries of his military? Subscribe, like, and share this video to more Africans and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.